All well, right. What I was saying is that I was in Portage, Indiana. At first, my recruiter asked me if I wanted to go way out to uh, Salt Lake City, and I told him there's no way on God's green earth I'm riding the bus for five days to, the, uh, for a week to, to Utah from Virginia. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Second, when I went when I went to Indiana, we heard this story about – I think it was one of the bigger classes they talk about. That they had like 30 people pass, you know, the test. You know what I'm saying? The class was like 40, and it was like 30 people that went through and passed. The hotel that they have it had us in, which was shitty, by the way. There was like this little restaurant. You know how sometimes it be like restaurants and part and like right in front of hotels and shit. Like it was like this little restaurant, whatever. The guys yeah. went over there, you know, to have a celebratory drink. Right. Apparently, the story was that whoever was at the restaurant called Sierra England and dismissed all of them for the program for having a drink after they after they finished class and everything. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Somebody, some, 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 some snitch in the class called up, called up Cr England and said that everybody was over there drinking, and then and and Cr England ejected them. Yeah, I don't know if it was. Uh, what you say, babe? You said it wasn't. It was. Hold on one second. Uh huh. Oh, people were there. Okay, my well, my lady is saying that. Uh, well, my lady is saying she's like because she was there at the same uh, like about the same time I was, mm-hmm. but she was saying it wasn't a student or nothing. She said it was the owner and one of the waitresses called CR England and gave them a bunch of and told them there was a bunch of people there that had beers. Wow! So it was the people that owned the restaurant that was calling back to CR England and telling them like, "Hey, you got a bunch of guys that came in here had a, they're, they're having a drink." I mean, it was a celebratory drink. I mean, at that point, they had passed the CDL training and everything else like that. You know, because it, it was crazy. It was real straight. It was it was really stressful for a lot of people while we were there. It was maybe yeah they t- yeah no I'm not, not talk about that part. Let's talk about. How- yeah, we because we were there for seventeen days. Did they have their license already, or they was just celebrating that day? That they oh, they, they didn't technically have their license in hand, but they had passed the, t- passed the that test day. for delight. Oh, okay, and then and then yeah. what? Cr Cr England did was ejected them before giving them their license. Before actually letting them, because you know what Cr England's whole. Whole spiel, whole spiel is like you know you come train with us, learn how to drive a truck with us, right. drive for us for a year, we pay off you, we pay off what you owe. Right. So these guys were getting ready to actually go, you know, go into orientation the next day or day after whatever. So what? So they were actually about to be hired. This was like the day, the night before orientation, and everything else like that. So they had passed the the, uh, the course or whatever like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, took the test, passed it, and everything else like that. Now they were going to the point to where they're about to go to orientation, get trucks and mentors and everything else like that. Okay, but, but wait, 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 wait. So they already, so they already had their their license permit. They just didn't have the hard copy. They didn't have a hard copy. All they oh. had was the paper copy. Okay, but they got, but they. They got their license. They wasn't. They yeah. Did, oh, okay. 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 So as long as they, as yeah. long as they got their license and Cr England came back on some bullshit, fuck them. You got your license. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and you know my, this company. My lady was also listening to the part. Mm-hmm. She was listening to the part to where something about was you told when you was recommending prime to her and prime for whatever reason told her no. Now we you you we all know that prime is it's. You get you gotta you gotta eat cold and shit diamonds to be able to get in the prime for some reason. I don't know what it is about them. They're very they're very picky on who they get. But judging with her situation, Cr England, Cr England has a habit of putting, uh, I guess you could say, what you want to say, false shit on your deck report. Yeah. With with Cr England, they have to have to check your uh your deck because they'll put stuff on there that don't belong to you. Mm-hmm. Hello. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm here. For for me, for instance, I've never had an accident. I've never hit anything, thank goodness. Mm-hmm. However, my, my boo hit a row of mailboxes. This is when we first started and we were co-driving. Mm-hmm. He was driving. He told them that he hit those mailboxes. And to this day, when somebody, like if I wanted to move to, from another truck company, truck company, mm-hmm. when they pull my name up, it says that I had an accident. And they're talking about them stupid mailboxes. Okay, so they so what they so what CR England did because you guys was co drivers, they made both of y'all privy to the mistake that he made. 
That's that's what it's, CR it's, England it's not did. On his. It's only it's, on mine. Oh, it's only yeah. on your. But it's only on mine. What? It's not on his. It's on mine. Yeah. <laughs> so what yep. did you what what did you do to what did you do to to clear that up? See, I have a very big mouth. The things that they did to her, what they wouldn't have never gotten away with. Um, my son was graduating high school on December 20th. I told them a month ahead of time. I have been out, though. We have been on the road oh, about five or six weeks by then. It was time for us to take home time. They sent us. Their famous thing was, we have to find something that's going to get you home. Okay. And then they'll say, when they're sending you the wrong direction, you call and you're like, hey, that's the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. Direction. They'll say, oh, well, we're going to swap you and da 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 da, -da. Mm -hmm. This is before we caught on to the game. So we said, okay. They had me all the way in Arizona two days before my son's graduation, mm. which was in Georgia. So but I you're, told them, Listen. you're heading <laughs> to Arizona, though. To swap loads. To Arizona. To swap loads with somebody that'll get you down to Georgia. To get me that's coming back the other direction, which never made sense. Yeah. That's, okay, but that was the that was when we got hip to it. The second time they tried that, I told them, I said, listen, if you don't want me to take this truck and drive it home, you're going to send us in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Because once I take you home, going straight to my lawyer's office. Mm. But uh, I didn't have problems with that or but but what you but but I, what I want to know is what did you the, the your DAC report because let me let me say something about the DAC report. Yeah. Um not a lot of trucking companies look at the DAC report per se. I'm going to say like the only companies that look at it much is the majors. Like you know, places like Prime, Snyder, U.S. Express. Well, I think those are the ones that, like, look at the DAC report per se. But I, I talked to a recruiter of a smaller company. You know, it was still a big company, but it was on a smaller scale. And she explained to me, she was like, yeah, we, we don't look at the DAC report because we know that companies like CR England will put false information on your report and that's why they don't and that's why they don't look at it but my question to you is is you you know that's on your DAC report now you know and you know that wasn't your you know that wasn't on you did you what did you do or did you do anything to get that cleared well no at this point I haven't because it hasn't stopped me from doing anything because I went over to Martin Mm -hmm. And then I came over here to KLLM because we just got back on the truck together. Mm -hmm. I've been out in other, you know, by myself. Mm -hmm. And when I talk to the recruiters or whatever, they're like, oh, well, yeah, but it's only one. And it's not hurting you. And da 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 Because at first I kept calling and I sent emails and all the rest of that and they weren't responding. But then it was like, okay, it's not hurting me and it's not down in my pay so i'm not really worried about because it, it wasn't like an accident that put points on my license either okay now would so, you would you would you probably you know if it's not if it's not bothering you like if it's not bothering you then that's cool but if you want you can uh reach out to hire right and you can put a um you can't put a dispute on that and you know and and uh, Higher right will probably look at it, um, but uh, they may or may not, you know, they may or may not take it off or, you know. Wow. So CR England. Right. So so CR England, as far as uh, as far as y'all two goes, um, I think when I talked to him before, we talked we talked at length on CR England. But I'm, I'm still tripping out on the part that, you know, they, they was at the, you know, they was at the 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 bar or the restaurant they all happy it's a little restaurant you know yeah. they all happy they just you know probably you know drink or whatever whatever it's not like they like getting in the truck the next day you know what i'm saying well here's what they said it's it's messed up but at the same time they told us mm -hmm. you cannot 
have anything to drink until you go home on home time. Oh, okay. 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 You understand what I'm saying? Right. So when they went to celebrate, we weren't on home. We They weren't on home time yet. Okay. It's messed up. Dang, we can't even have a drink. I mean, we just went through 17 days of hell and took that test, and we're finished. You know what I'm saying? The, the trainers are not here. They're not coming within 24 hours. I mean, right. let me get a little drink a drink. Right, but, right. So did what, so did C R England so did C R England ejected the people that 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 uh partook in the drink or no? Yeah, all of them got fired. Wow, but they still all, they never got hired. Rather, but they still had see, their license. See, here's the thing with C R England. They, right, when we oh, went okay, through, then. what they did was you went, you took your test, they gave you your paperwork that day, they gave you a little envelope. Mm -hmm. that told you your scores on your uh on your maneuvers mm -hmm. and sit and then you go and you get on the truck with your trainers that's why i didn't understand what her she was like they said they were going to take her license but they put the stuff in the computer all you have to do is go home and say hey i upgraded because we didn't take any paperwork into the dmv mm -hmm. we just gave them our old our old license well i'm from georgia so we just gave them our old license and they gave us the up you know how you with your, your license your, yeah, your whatever, new license with the with, with your with the commercial vehicle uh tag on there. But like right. I but like so, I, I mean, but like I said, you know, that was her, you know, everybody experiences with 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 trucking companies is going to be different. And that's why and again, yeah. that's why I told him and I and I said and I'm telling you that you know what might have what might have happened to you guys will probably be a lot different than what happened to her. You know, you guys probably got you know you you know what you just said. You just got your you know your license and you just went down there and all they had to do is swap and all like that. But what might have happened to her was totally different because see, what happened to her? I I think what happened to her was like was like severe, like. You know, I mean, I know there's, you know, yeah, I know there's really. more to, there's, there's more to the story. Uh, there's more to her story because we talked offline, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of hurtful stuff that, you know, she said offline that they did to her and, you know, we, we didn't yeah. go, we didn't go into detail, but the, the stuff that we did talk about uh, on the record was still horrible you know what they did to her yeah because before i went there my brother and my uncle was like listen and listen close go there get your license do your year just to get the experience don't leave before your year because once your year is up you go wherever you want to he was like and my, they told me to make sure you understand that your money ain't gonna be no money you're gonna be broke mm -hmm. just go out there do the year <laughs> my brother said Listen, go out there, do the year, tear they shit up, and then go somewhere where you want to be. Hmm. I'm like, I'm not going to tear up nobody's stuff. Because they didn't teach you nothing. I didn't learn anything because he wasn't my first co-driver. I had a co-driver that was stealing my money. And I had to get off the truck with her. So I'm getting on a truck with a chick that don't know nothing. That's a thief. She don't know no more than I know. And... If I I had to make a gazillion phone calls, like, um, oh, how do I do this? Where do I go for this? How is this happening? You know, what am I supposed to do? Wait, they didn't wait, 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 back up. You was on a truck with a female trainer, co-driver trainer, and no, she... no, no, no. My no. trainer, my train. I went out with a trainer, right? It was a guy. It was two two of us being trained with with a guy. Okay. He didn't teach me sh jack crap. Okay. He taught me how to to maneuver down the mountain, but mm -hmm. he didn't teach me how to back. He didn't teach me the fundamentals either. However, I still upgraded because okay. I knew you know. Okay, but they they put I, you. I still upgraded. So they they put you with a female co driver. Uh, your team and mm -hmm. so they put you with a, how is she stealing your money ain't, ain't you guys supposed to ain't you guys supposed to get your money separated into your own accounts how is she stealing your money what happened was we went through a couple of tolls okay okay and this is another thing we didn't know the technical i didn't know the technicalities right, right? okay right. so we go through a toll this toll is not taking our toll pass 
Okay. So we had to pay. Okay. I paid out of pocket. Okay. When she did the paperwork, she was supposed to put that I paid for the toll. But what she did was she put that she paid for the toll. So when that payday came up and I'm looking, I'm like, well, my money's not here for the toll. You know, I'm like, well, maybe they'll put it on there later since it's a different expense and it's not pay and blah, blah, blah. Right. Right. And she just sitting there all la, la, la. And I, and she didn't say anything. So this was Wednesday. Mm-hmm. No, this was Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Wednesday, I'm starting to get mad because I'm like, listen, I didn't pay a hundred dollars for this dang on toll for them not to pay me because I, I I've already talked to the um the our dispatch person and everything. Mm-hmm. So I'm still sitting here now. Mind you, now it's Thursday, so I'm like, you know what? I'm finna call again to payroll now to see where's my money, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Now she's like, oh. I think they might have paid me instead. Uh, Chick, we done went almost a whole week. Uh huh. And you knew you had my money. Why you didn't? And why why you, you didn't, didn't give me my me? money? Right. Uh, and do you want to turn? I, I think they so, paid. Uh, you got a hundred dollars extra for a toll that you didn't pay. You know that wasn't yours. So what? What she exactly. thought? What, what she thought that you wasn't that you wasn't gonna that you wasn't gonna catch it, or you was gonna forget about it? Like. I, Exactly. How often I mean, she would do stuff like that, or how, how often she did huh? that? How how often she did that? I only paid two toes, and it happened twice. Wow! And I, once was fifty five dollars, and once was a hundred dollars. And that's when I called him because we were still just friends. No, he actually called me to check and see how I was doing. I'm like, listen, I'm gonna go to jail. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to remember my full name so you can bail me out. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was like I was. She took my money. We had runs that were like a thousand miles. I would do like my five hundred and go to sleep. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm very good at trip planning. So I'm like, we should be at this point by the time I wake up. When I wake up, we like three hundred, two hundred, three hundred miles short of where we need to be. But her clock is empty. I, I'm, you know, all the way down. I'm like, wait a minute. Is she now, driving? I know I ain't tripping. Ain't no mountains. Is she driving night? What she was doing was pulling over. Yeah, was she, she was supposed to be driving night. Yeah, she she driving. Yeah. She was driving nights. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 why yeah, she 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 pulled over to take a nap. She was taking big old naps, and mm-hmm. she was sitting there on, on duty. And then when I wake up, all I see is her drive clock. I didn't see her whole little summary, and I'm like, and that just kept happening. I'm like, I'm getting the hell off of this truck. I hear you. Before I hurt somebody. I hear you, man. That is wow. Woo, man, that's crazy. <laughs> but they turned me when I was I was barely six months in. They start sending me things. Time out. Would you like to be a trainer? <laughs> like a trainer? I don't even know what I'm doing. But by the time I got to a year, I was like, okay, I'll just do it. Mm-hmm. They put a chick on my trip from Utah. I picked her up in Utah older lady okay. she would not listen and and then about 11 days in no yeah 11 days in she comes down and she's crying to me and i have to tell you i'm like what do you have to tell me i'm claustrophobic <laughs> wow are you kidding me <laughs> <sighs> you're claustrophobic and this is why you won't go to sleep so you can drive your, your shift at night so I can see if you could drive at night. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Uh, so, <laughs> so much so much for that. You got to go. Bye. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. after she what? almost hit that family, that was it. Uh, you said that was it for her, man. Wow. Yes. Well, and because. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. With the, she almost hit hit this whole family in this car, and I was like, "No, because you just won't listen to me." So yeah, no, you're gonna have to get off of my truck. <laughs> All right. So man, that's <laughs> woo, CR England, man. Mm. Love, I love these CR England stories, man. <laughs> and yeah, you were right. It it took when we started out the the first the first month it was. 17 cents per mile then it was 
uh, it went up a penny every, uh, it, it went up, oh, it went up two cents almost every month. By the time my year came, we were up to 25 cents a piece. Wow. Yeah, it's it's time to go. <laughs> it's time to go. It's time oh, yeah. to go. But yeah, uh, but from there you uh but from there you went to uh Martin and then you finally settled up with uh KLLM and and uh an old boy came right along with you and y'all run teams over there now, right? Actually, he came over here first. Okay. And I went to Martin um and yeah, Martin wasn't where it was at. So I was like, yeah, no, I'm going to go. But I went to a smaller company first, and mm-hmm. they were really good. But they were I, I, they were a good company, but they were doing questionable stuff. And I didn't like putting my license on the line. So then I came over to KLLM. All right. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Well, thanks for sharing the story. I, I... <laughs> like I said, I love stories from uh from CR England, man. They they need to do better. They they really do. They I I am not I, I am I, I am surprised that you know that that the comp that that they still, you know, for years, you know, doing this type of crap to new drivers, you know, over here, you know, over here lying to them. Uh, not treating them right, just treating them all any old kind of way and and stuff like that, man. That's why it's always important to, you know, check the background of these companies before you settle, settle in going to these companies to, to rock out with them. Right. I heard that they, they're even worse because I was talking to somebody like we didn't have to pay any of the tuition out of our paycheck. You know, when we went through, it was just drive the year, and they paid a whole thing. The drivers that's coming out now, they're paying up to, I think, $2,000 towards their tuition. $5,000. Um, it's 5000 towards their tuition now? From, so, what I, from, oh, what okay. I underst- from what I understand, they the way it works now, because uh, back in the day, the, 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 the guys would come in to – these companies that's sponsoring for the CDL, what they do uh-huh. is they come in and they just get their CDLs and then they leave. See, back then yep. they used to have they they used to put it on your DAC report or their their black uh, what do you call it black ball I want to say black ball blackmail black blacklisted. They'll they'll black whatever. They'll, yeah. they'll, they'll blacklist you from going to any other companies. But there was a lawsuit, I think it was a class action lawsuit that one of the guys that did that, he went over to uh he went over to another company that brought him on. And I believe this involved Swift, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm mistaken, I need somebody to let me know, but if I'm not mistaken, I really think that's what happened. Um, it involved Swift. It was a class action lawsuit. Uh, somewhere the judge said that, you know, that no companies can, you know, prohibit people from going to another company if they want to, you know, if they want to leave. So with all that, right. with all that said and done, they start having them having them now to uh sign off on uh on a credit uh on a lease agreement like you know like how you you know sign off for a credit card or sign off for a car and all like that and what it is and what it is that they'll take the money out of your check depending on how much they'll take the money out of your check once you do the whole year They'll give you the money back. Oh wow! That's how that yeah, no. that's Mm-mm. that's how it works now. I think uh I think it works like that with Swift, uh, CR England, maybe CRST. Um, 
but yeah, but I know a lot of a lot of uh, companies that's doing the you know that's doing the school thing. Yeah, you have to sign a you have to sign a um, a lease agree uh, a lease agreement now. And what they do, like I said before, oh, wow. they'll take the money. You know, they'll take the money out your paycheck every week or every two weeks, and then once you fulfill the contract, then they'll they'll you know reimburse you your money. But if you don't, wow! If you don't, and you leave prior to that, whatever the balance is left is what you're responsible for. So in her case, since she didn't start with them, she's responsible for the whole five thousand dollars, which yeah, uh, which a lot of people just file bankruptcy and yeah, keep it moving. <laughs> That's exactly. what I. That, that's what Here's I said. <laughs> that's that's what I exactly. said. I, I just said if you if you gonna go with CR uh, CR England, you know after after hearing these horror stories, and you still gonna go with CR England, just go there to get your license and leave. You know, just yeah, go yeah, just just yeah, go. Yeah, she, she, yeah, just go to the school. I'm gonna go pee real quick. We pulled it to the truck stop. Okay, <laughs> yeah, just just go to the school. Just go to the school, uh, get your license, you know, still play the game with them. Hey, he, he, thank you very much, you know. Let them, you know, let them find you some trainer, which is going to take weeks. And then after that, you know, you just say, why they, why they looking, why they looking for a trainer for you? You just go ahead and call other companies and be like, yeah, I got my license. Let's go. And just bounce. Every day, man, nine times out of ten, it's a it's a couple of companies that'll take you, that'll that'll you know give you a bus ticket from wherever you are to them. That's if you want to do. Exactly. Because when we left, it was a couple guys that failed. There was a couple guys that failed the test, and they were about to send them home, but they got on the phone with somebody else, and uh, like a couple of guys left CR England went over to CRST. But what you were saying about like how they're blackball, like if you like, it was a whole lawsuit with like five different companies behind that. It was CR, I think it was like CR England, Werner, CRST, Snyder, and I think Prime and Swift was in there too. But it, it was it was crazy. But one thing I wanted to, uh, I just thought about, you might want to tell your listeners, and this is how I ended up finding out a bunch of CR England dirt. And Go ahead. This is all public record. You can straight Google. It. You can Google it. Google CR England bad reviews and just scroll through the page of how much shit CR England has been in in the last few years. From the, the reason why they're a company, a company driver only company now, to where there was a girl who was in training, to where she kept telling the she kept telling the the driver manager, the dispatcher, that her trainer was threatening her and making unwanted advances toward her, and like had her hey, try to hell her horses in the truck and some shit. How CR England had to pay her behind that. How CR our England's getting sued from uh, former students, uh, students and employees in California, and it's a it's a bunch of other shit, bro. CR England, just just alone, just off the top of my head, when they got sued from the owner operators, that class action lawsuit, they lost they lost like anywhere they lost anywhere from ninety to one hundred and fifty million dollars in that lawsuit. Mm. And like, if you just Google bad reviews from CR England, so much shit is going to come up from the, the horror stories that people will tell you. Now, there's a lot of people that came through that, you know, done shit they had behind that, you know, CR England did something to push them to that point. Like, my first co driver with CR England, he got off the truck because they, they he, every time they got ready to send him home, well, he wanted to go home, they would. They, they would tell him some slick shit. Like, my girl would say, oh, we're going to get you a route and get somebody to swap with you and send you back or some shit like that. He got to he got to within two hours of his house and got off the fucking truck. Mm. Well, you know what I'm saying? Drove the truck to the crib and got off. Well, like I said, man, this this is uh, this is CR England. I, I love I love these. Uh, I love these CR England stories, man. Hopefully somebody will take heed and just just. If they're going to go there, if they still going to go there after hearing these horror stories and uh, they still going to go there, just go there for your license and bounce. That's about it. Just because just just go there for your license, bounce, find a company that that uh, uh that uh, reimburse you for, you know, that reimburse you for your tuition or just find a company that's giving you like a five thousand dollar sign on bonus and just take that sign on bonus and just pay the. You know, pay your license off. That's all. 
That's all you got to do now. I know that. I know that's what a. I know that's what a few people in my class did. They right. they they got they took that sign on bonus wherever they was going or the tuition reimbursement. Some of these class these people were offering, and they would just pay and say, "Are you off back with it?" Like I didn't want to have to deal with the whole bullshit of owing them any money. So that's the reason why I gave them so much time that I did. Because just to believe, it was plenty of times I wanted to hop off this truck with these motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Especially, I don't know if I told you, but our best week with CR England, we drove from. We drove from Pennsylvania to the Bay Area of California on 80, left the Bay Area of California, drove down to Southern California in Colton area, picked up a load in Colton, drove up to Tacoma, Washington, picked up a load a few miles north of Tacoma, Washington, drove it all the way to Wilmington, North Carolina, and we was halfway on another load before the week ended. We drove 5,700 miles that week, and our paycheck was $1,300 before taxes. Wow. All right, my G. Well, it's almost time for me to uh, almost time for me to get up out of here, man. What's your what, what's you and your girl's name? Oh, you could go. My name is Isaac, but my TikTok is Rodimus, and her name is Jewel on both on uh, on any play. If you just look up Jewel on TikTok, you'll see her. All right, so Jewel, and what's your TikTok name? Rodimus seven five seven. Rod, Rod, wait, what is Excuse it? Me. Rod, Rod. Rodimus, you know, like Rodimus Prime. Oh, Rod oh, okay, Rodimus. Okay, okay. So Rodimus and Jewel. All right, yeah, I just, yeah. I just need to know that so I can put your names in here. All right, man. Um, yes, oh my God. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> All right, brother, man. Well, you guys stay safe, man. I'm about to go in and get on up out of here. Uh, definitely appreciate the story. And uh, next time, you know, like I said, you got my number. Just call me up and let me know what's up, man. Yeah, man, I feel like I should have called you like, hey, man, we got a, we got a, we got a new show for you. That's uh, what I feel like I should have done instead of just having a conversation. Yeah.